Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. As always, let's check out how the last race went, look at the points, and see where we're headed today. So last time out we ran Darlington, we started in the 21st position, came back 15th, able to move up a few spots which is always nice, and we're still 24th in the point standings. We're only 17 points back from Mike Wallace, so I think we can get him for sure. I don't remember how many races we have left, but we're gonna get him. If you notice our available funds are a little lower than they usually are, last time out we were able to get an aero upgrade after the race, so I'm excited to see how we run today. Let's see where we're going. So with today's race, we'll be starting off the month of September. Looks like we're headed to Richmond, so let's hope we can better our result from last time. And as usual, we're just gonna hop straight into practice. Hopefully our aero upgrade has helped the car, but it won't make it so different that I have to make a bunch of changes, but we'll see. So it looks like a 23.585 is our best lap coming into the day. I think we can better that. This obviously isn't a super aero dependent track, but it always helps to have a little better downforce and a little less drag. Carlo. And as usual, we're in the wall within a lap or two. That downshifting is definitely going to get annoying. Are you kidding? All clear. Car low. I may have to back out and turn on manual shifting just so I don't have to deal with that every corner. I made a gearing adjustment. I hope I went the right way with it, but I I probably didn't go the right way with it. My hope is that the gearing change will keep us from downshifting, but we'll see. Yeah, so the gearing change helped, but unfortunately we are still downshifting. That's definitely not annoying at all. Still there. Car high. Clear high. Car high. Clear high. On the bright side, we are pretty significantly faster, but I am going to have to back out and go change the manual shifting. I might have went a little too far on the gear change because we are hitting the shift light pretty, pretty early into the corner, so I might back that down. I went two clicks on the adjustment, so I'll probably just go back by one and Probably just run a few more laps just to get myself more comfortable, but I think my car is pretty good. It's just going to come down to me driving good, which is quite a problem. Stay low. Still there. Clear high. Stay low. Still there. All clear. That's the wall. We don't want to hit that. Alright, I made that gear adjustment. I just went back one click on the final gear ratio. I think that should be good. Staying out of the wall would also be good. You probably notice my background is a little different. I rearranged my office the other day and I thought it'd be nifty to, you know, put my GameCube in the background. I have the Super Smash Bros. game and the title screen for that one is pretty cool. So I was like, eh, why not have something, you know, playing in the background. 
Let me know if it's too distracting. If it looks cool. If you don't care. What is Dale Jr.'s obsession with running into the back of me? I swear that's like... Between all the races, all the practice sessions and stuff, that's like the fifth or sixth time that I have just gotten run over by Dale Jr. Car high. Now, I can't really blame him for that one specifically, but, uh, pretty annoying, bud. How you like it? Still there. Not a fan? Sorry, Kevin. Clear low. I wrecked Kevin. There's a spin in turn three. There sure is. Car high. That's how you make a pass, baby. They're all clear. Clear low. That's how you hit the wall, baby. Car low. The engine's blown. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's go qualify. And of course we go out early, so I don't get a very good read on the field, but... Our best lap is better than Jeff Gordon's, so... I'll be interested to see how we do. Probably could have rolled through 3 and 4 a little better, but... This is a track I definitely struggle with quite a bit. I can never arc the corners right. I almost always knock down the fence after turn two, and I'm trying my hardest to stay out of the apron in three and four. It's just never pretty. All right, let's see where we play. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Did, did we just park it? <laughs> well, I think we're on provisional pole, but uh, I think we wrecked another race car. <laughs> and we are immediately knocked off of provisional pole. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I expected, like 20th. I don't know why they teased us with letting us get provisional pole to start with, but whatever. And now I think it's time for Alan Beswick to tell us all about Richmond. Whether under the lights or the bright sun of day, Richmond International Raceway is home to excitement. The action track, as it's known, combines the best of both worlds, super speedway speeds and short track action. At three quarters of a mile in length, it's not unusual to witness tempers flaring at Richmond. I had to remind myself, like, you have to shift the car. It is not automatic. So we have a 52 lap race. We have a 25 lap fuel tank, which I'm sure we can lift early. And if we don't cause a giant pile up on lap one, we should be able to save the fuel to make this a one-stop pretty easily. We have bumped the nose on lap two. That is fantastic. Going great. Alright, we bunk the right door on lap three. That's also fantastic. Still there. All clear. Stay low. Still there. Clear high. All right, we finally made it back to our original position. Hopefully now with some clean track I can run some okay laps and a great lap. see what this thing can do. Don't hit 
the wall. I just take the absolute Carlo. worst angle coming out of turn two. Like I, I don't know how to make the thing turn better on no exit, there. but it is just the ugliest thing. Stay low, still there. Stay low, still there. All clear. Like three and four aren't that bad, but one and two are just great lap. ugly. I always have to lift at some point. Like I can't just can't just make the corner. Always have to lift part way through and hope it hope it doesn't hit the wall. And the tires are already starting to slide pretty good, so that is a wonderful sign. Yep, right front is quite hot. That is no surprise. And we're already half a track behind the leader. There's another lovely thing. I really thought when I was using the steering wheel that I could do some of these tracks better because, you know, I'd be able to kind of have a fluid motion, but the steering wheel was just not happy <laughs> trying to trying to play this game, so I don't love playing with the controller, but it it's definitely a lot more manageable. Also, this this sliding is for sure going to be the end of me at some point. Carlo. Still there. The back stretch was just shaped the same as the front stretch. I think I'd be okay. But not. So I'm not. I think now that we're starting to move through lap traffic, there is a good chance I can pick up some spots because it definitely seems Still like there. some of the AI cars have a lot of trouble getting through the lappers. So we made it back to 20th, which was our original starting spot. We are only 16 seconds behind the leader, so I think that's like two-thirds of a lap. Lovely feeling. Thanks, Vinny, for my clear. wall trip. I will take that. It looks like we have saved like a lap or two of fuel already, so fuel definitely won't be a concern um, to make it more than one, or to have to make more than one pit stop. It is pretty wild, like the, the tire fall off isn't near as much as I thought it'd be for the AI, it's definitely high, but high. like we're only two tenths slower than we were on you know, our Field best lap. Out. And looks out. like there's a caution. So we didn't lose a lap, that's, that's cool. We'll still be on the lead lap after pit cycle. And I think it's pretty, Pretty straightforward. Gonna pit and then try to save 10 or so laps of fuel <laughs> and make it to the end. I am very grateful that I don't have to make a green flag pit stop because I am not good at those. It looks like most of the field is not gonna pit, which is quite interesting. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the end, but pitting now definitely makes life a whole lot easier. So. Interesting move, rest of the field. It might reset, but I believe we only lost three positions. So I'm guessing most of the field behind us was a lap down, unless I'm wrong. But that is quite the development. Yeah, we've only got 29 laps to go. I, 
I might just pit again. Yeah, let's see if I can get another splash of fuel real quick. And, uh, yeah, the lights are still on, so... Uh, maybe the rest of the field is pitting this time by. I don't know. If I'm only doing half a can of fuel, I should beat all these guys out, though, I think. This game never ceases to amaze me. Just so much dumb stuff. Yeah, we should be out quick, right? Yeah. I think we beat all these guys out of the pits, which is nifty. And we'll have the same amount of fuel as everybody that has pit, so pretty, pretty stoked. After all that, we're 17th. Um, set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. And we get the Kyle Busch restart. That's uh, probably not going to actually help us at all, but you know, whatever. So we have 24 laps of fuel with 27 laps to go in the race. I assume everybody behind me is gonna try and try and make that work as well. Oh, don't crash. As much as like, yeah, I'm racing these guys for position. They're okay. That's the halfway mark. They're so much faster than me, so I'm not. Oh, please don't have a caution. I'm not really racing these guys, you know. Like, if it's off of pure pace, they are all gonna beat me. So I'm. Um, I'm just gonna try and keep the car clean. Still there. Clear high. Car high. Oh, come on. Car high. The last thing I needed was lap cars running into me. All clear. Clear high. But please, no one cause a caution. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys will be able to hear it in the recording, but I just keep hearing sheet metal crunch every corner. Still there. Car high. Also, at some point, the guys that didn't pit are going to have to come in, right? All clear. So... Uh, I Carlo. come on. <laughs> uh, well, now we've hurt the engine a little bit. It's not too bad, but I definitely need to uh, not hit anyone else because we Carlo. have we have a good chance to get a good finish today. And if Carlo. if we wreck. That will Go definitely, clear. definitely hurt that good finish. Carlo. Still there. Car high. These All guys clear. have to... Okay, I think I see some Car guys high. on pit lane. Yeah. Like... Oh, All clear. Don't, don't wreck. Carlo. Sorry. The car head is pitting. Thankfully, this is a track that it's Still not too low. hard to get off the racing surface to go pit. Like, there's some tracks Plenty where you feel like half the field is going to wreck every time that uh, people try to pit under green, but shouldn't have to deal with that here today. Come on, dude. Stay high. Still there. All clear. The car head is pitted. The 88 car is headed into the pit. Car high. So, thankfully, it looks like our engine damage is under 10%. So, hopefully, Still there. it's not super expensive to fix <laughs> at the end of the day. But Still there. It looks like at the moment, we are running car high. top 10. I don't know how many more guys would need to pit. If I had to guess, we're probably, you know, 10th of 10 on uh, guys that pit already. Carlo, Buddy! What are you doing? Oh, that's gonna be a yellow. 
There's a spin in turn one. I swear the like the wreck avoidance, the intelligence of so many of these cars is just so low. It's insane. Pace cars out. I'm just not gonna pit because it's not gonna make the car good enough to compete, and maybe we'll catch a bunch of guys a lap down. So. I'm just gonna skip ahead and we'll see what happens. Pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. Oh, I downshifted when I was supposed to upshift because I still don't car remember low. which button is which. Thank car God low. I did not damage the engine anymore. Car low. Clear high. You're all clear. Like there's a very good chance half the field wrecks again. How many laps do we have to go? Car high. Oh yeah, we're fine on fuel. There's a spin in turn three. Car low. Car low. Okay, so yeah, I'm 10th, which is last on the lead lap. So You're as long clear. as as long as nothing crazy happens. Car low. We'll get a top 10. With how, with how bad our car is right now, a top 10 would be quite a day. <laughs> Yeah, this, this car has gotten terrible. Ten laps to go. Still there. Clear high. We're fine. If I can just keep this thing out of the wall for, like, seven more laps. I say as I run into the wall. I think we're going to come back tonight. We should be able to get the four car up ahead, but my goodness, my car is just falling off a cliff. It's fine though, everything's fine though. These tires are going to be toast by the end of this. Oh yeah. Five laps to go. I probably should have pit just to have, you know, better tires and stuff, but obviously hindsight is 2020. I had no idea that the rest of the field was going to not pit, so you live and learn. Carlo. Guys, just drive around me. But yeah, it looks like unless anybody ahead of me ends up pitting, we're gonna come back 10th, which is still a really solid day. Two to go. Just have two more laps to go. The leader's already taken the white. Yeah, we are way off the pace, but that is a-okay. Stay high. Still there. Last lap. You're all clear. Jeff Gordon blew up. Not for a spot though, so it doesn't matter. But top ten can't complain about that. Like he said, top 10, can't complain about that. Man, most of the field was two or more laps down. That was quite an interesting race.
I am glad we uh, came back pretty good. Can't complain. We may have finished almost 20 seconds off the lead, but on the lead lap, good points day. Let's see if we made some good money. I'd say $117,000 is pretty good money. Cannot complain about that. So it looks like Dale Jr. was able to take the win, but I was the star of the show, climbing from 20th to 10th. Yeah, pretty happy. And with that result, we were able to put 50 points on Mike Wallace. And now we have our sights set on moving up another spot or two. Well, friends, that's going to do it for another episode. I know we don't normally run well at short tracks, but I'd say that top 10 at Richmond was a pretty solid result. And uh, I hope we can keep that momentum going for the rest of the season. As always, I want to say a big thanks for watching. Hit like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. I did, you know, change up the set and stuff. Let me know what you think. Do you like having the uh, GameCube, you know, title screens going behind me? Is there uh, something else you'd like to see? I do plan on the, the wall behind me. I have a couple flags and stuff ordered that hopefully will be here eventually. I also do have some NASCAR sheet metal I've been thinking of hanging up, so that might go up too, but yeah and the end of that spiel you know subscribe if you're not subscribed i hope i catch you in the next one see ya